This is the new Samsung Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360 and if you're not aware about these Samsung laptops, well they might surprise you and if you know about these, there's still a lot of new in this new Galaxy Book. So this is Rupesh, you're watching Silicon's, time to hit that subscribe button, time to hit that bell icon and time to check out the new Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360. Look, from a design perspective, not a lot has changed, but then again, why fix what ain't broke? I mean, there are some cool new upgrades, which I'll get to, but it's still available in this gray, no other colors, which I would have liked, but it's still a very premium and solidly built laptop. The branding is very minimal, it does not get dirty very easily, the lid opens up with one hand, and the hinge also feels solid and stable, which, yes, inspires a lot of confidence, especially because you can use this in tent mode like this, and you can even go all the way back and use it as a tablet, and it all works seamlessly. Now the dimensions remain the same too and at 1.69 kgs it still remains very portable for a 16 inch laptop. This also has all the ports you expect even though it's a pretty sleek laptop. There's HDMI 2.1, 2 Thunderbolt 4 Type-C ports and LED indicator and on the right there's a 3.5mm jack, a fast USB A port and a micro SD reader. Even the display is the same height as 120Hz Dynamic AMOLED 2X and I'm not complaining because this is a fantastic screen. I mean, sharp, it's color accurate. I mean, it's AMOLED so blacks and colors look insanely good and this is bright enough and there's Vision Boost and Samsung's anti-reflective coating, both of which come in very handy while using this laptop outdoors or in a bright environment. I mean, just see the difference versus the MacBook Pro here. On top of that, this is a touchscreen and this being a 360 degree laptop, you can use it as a tablet and this screen is very responsive and nice to touch and for the extra creatives, you also get the S Pen in the box and I like how it works. You can attach it magnetically here. There's also no latency issues, it's pressure sensitive and just works great all around and I also like how this has a sort of rubbery finish which makes it feel great in the hands. Now what has changed are the speakers, I mean there are two huge vents on the side each having a speaker and a tweeter firing the sound downwards, but what's new is that the woofers and the tweeters are not double in size compared to the last gen and it makes a big difference. I mean, sound here is great, be the bass or the highs, and it gets very loud and definitely among the best speakers on a Windows laptop. Now, the keyboard and the big ass touchpad remain the same. I mean, you do get the fingerprint scanner, you do get the co pilot key, which wasn't present before, but other than that, it's the same full size keyboard with the numpad, with keys that have good feedback, three levels of backlight, and yes, travel could have been better, but it is great for fast typing. The touchpad also remains great, it's obviously one of the biggest, so even longer movements is fine, but here's the best part. The fingertip recognition is perfect. You know how when you're typing and your palm touches the trackpad and the pointer is moving on some Windows laptops, this rejects the palm without a miss. Now there's still no Windows Hello IR camera, but the 1080p webcam has staggered HDR now, which basically means combining multiple exposures to ensure that the tube light at the back does not blow your face during video calls, and the quality, the wide field of view, it's all great. The big upgrade, however, is the chips of the Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360 is powered by the new Lunar Lake Intel Core Series Ultra 2 processors, and there's both Core Ultra 5 and Core Ultra 7 variants. The one we have has the Core Ultra 5 226V with 4 P cores, 4 E cores, 8 threads, the Intel AI Boost NPU with 40 plus tops, making it a Copilot plus PC, and there's the Intel Arc 130V GPU, which is an upgrade over the Iris XE in terms of performance. There's also faster LPDDR5X RAM and a Gen 4 SSD here and while you can swap the SSD, the RAM is soldered and in terms of thermals, you can see the dual fans which are mostly silent along with the heat pipe. Now you guys know that the Lunar Lake chipset is all about big efficiency gains with solid performance, so obviously in benchmarks, especially multi-core tests, the laptop does okay-ish. I mean, this chipset is clearly not aimed at multi-threaded performance, but the performance is top-notch, be it in day-to-day -day tasks, multitasking with a lot of apps, tons of Chrome tabs open, things like photo editing. Yeah, this handles all of that without any problems. I even tried some gaming to get an idea on the Arc GPU, and while it can't take on laptops with discrete NVIDIA GPUs, it does handle something like Forza Horizon at medium settings fairly well, as you can see from the FPS, the thermals are solid too, the fans only turn up when running benchmarks or when gaming and there are no heating issues here. Now where the Lunar Lake chipset really shines is the battery life. Yes, this has a fairly big 76 watt hour battery and add to that the Core Ultra Series 2's efficiency and the battery life here is incredible. To give you an idea, in everyday usage which involves 6-7 browser tabs open all the time, some photo editing, a lot of text editing continuously, a lot of YouTube videos, the battery here easily lasted for 12 hours which is crazy, like better than most Windows laptops I've ever tested. Heck, even Samsung claims 25 hours of video playback from this compared to 21 hours in the last gen, so yeah, you get the idea. The charging speeds are also pretty good. You get the 65 watt PD charger in the box with a long C2C cable and it charges the laptop fully in 100 minutes. Now, thanks to the 40 plus tops NPU, this is a Copilot Plus PC and that means this has all the AI features you want. 
So there are Windows Studio effects like automatic framing to keep you in the frame, eye contact to make it look like you're looking into the camera, although nothing can force me to look into the camera, and the background effects too, which work well. Now I know AI features using the NPO are still kind of limited, but Samsung was like, fine, I'll do it myself. I mean, Galaxy AI in Samsung phones are probably the best implementation of AI in smartphones, and this is the first Galaxy book to come with Galaxy AI. I mean, you've got to check out the features. It has the new AI Select feature that we saw in the S25 phones, so I can just start it through the task by shortcut and now I can just circle on something to search for it. It works with text, it works with images and look how quickly it brings you the results. Now it uses Bing and there's no way to switch it to Google but it works fine mostly. Now that's all, you can remaster photos which work really well with your bloody low res pictures and has gotten faster but here's the coolest part. You can now link your Samsung phone with Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360's Copilot app along with Link to Windows and use Copilot on the laptop to search for a contact on your phone, search for any messages on your phone, get unread messages, even their summaries. You can even set timers and alarms on your phone using your laptop. Heck, even locating ATMs or any other places of interest from the laptop works fine. And this is going to get better with support for Samsung Notes, Samsung Gallery and the voice recorder apps. Plus there are all the other Galaxy ecosystem features that are so useful with Link to Windows. I mean Samsung phones, there's continuous camera syncing with the new camera share app so you can use your S25 as a webcam easily in any app. There's obviously universal clipboard so you can copy from your phone, paste it on the laptop, vice versa. You can take calls from the laptop, send messages from right here. There's quick share to share files easily. You can open apps from your phone on the laptop and use literally everything, even Galaxy AI features. There's also the very cool multi-control feature that lets you use the Galaxy Book's keyboard and touchpad on other Samsung devices and it works really well. There's also Galaxy Buds Auto Switch, so the buds seamlessly switch between the laptop and the phone when you get a call. Yes, the ecosystem features remain one of the strong points for Samsung laptops. Look, with the new Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360, Samsung is clearly making what was good even better. I mean, the design remains solid and premium as ever. The display is still one of the best you can get in a laptop. It's still got the basics right in terms of webcam, keyboard and touchpad. And now this is powered by the latest Intel Core Ultra Series 2 chipset. So you get solid performance with crazy good battery life. And there's the capable NPU powering the Galaxy AI features along with making it future proof and add to that the solid Samsung ecosystem features. Now as for the pricing, the Galaxy Book 5 series starts at rupees 1,14,990 and the variant we have, the Pro 360, this starts at rupees 1,55,990 and you can get the price lower with the 10,000 rupee bank cash back and there's up to 12 months of no cost AMI offers to go with it. So what do you guys think of the new Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.